Within Business Central, there's a couple of ways to find customer templates. Number one, open up the customer. From here, go into Actions, Functions, Templates. Customer Templates is also accessible through the global search. So if I escape out, search Customer Templates. From here, we can create a new template. We've got to give it a code. We're going to call this domestic. Australian customer. What is the number series that applies for a new customer? So you could turn around and have a custom number series for a certain type of customer. Registrations, address contact details. We might want to default the language code. And we're going to use English Australian. For invoicing, we might want to default posting group to domestic posting groups. Here we go. We might want to default that our standard payment terms is 30 days next month location code for this domestic customer is going to be the australian warehouse shipment method code i'm going to leave alone but i do want to do something funky i'm going to go to dimensions and i'm going to set that we want a customer and a department we know that the department is sales but the customer group must be set and it's mandatory this means when the customer is created, it's mandatory that the customer group is then filled in from one in the list. Once you've created your customer template, we can go back and we can take a customer, for example, Alpine Ski House. I can open them. I can go back to Actions, Functions, Apply a Template. On applying this template, it's going to take our domestic template and apply it over this customer. Now, if you go to customer dimensions, you're going to see that it's already created the dimensions. And if we tried to trade on this customer, it's going to throw an error that dimensions are required. Further, the locations, all of the other changes that we've made will have applied if they've not already been set.